Welcome to your next game design tutorial using Unity and Playmaker. Hey, I'm Jerry from Blizz Studio, creator of the Apple featured game Trixel Rocket. So what are we gonna be doing in this tutorial? We're gonna download and install Playmaker, which is a visual scripting language. We're also going to download iTween to use along with Playmaker. And then we're gonna start playing around with Playmaker just so we can start learning a little bit about it before we kind of jump into projects. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here we are in the Unity Editor where we left off with our last tutorial. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and install Playmaker. Now Playmaker is a visual scripting tool and it's downloadable from the Asset Store. If you remember from the last tutorial, we have a tab here called Asset Store. So this allows you to connect directly to the Unity Asset Store. And if you just select in the search bar up there, you can type in Playmaker and it should pop up right away. And here we go, that's Playmaker. And I go into this and the price is $65. So you will have to purchase this uh, visual scripting language, but it's, it's worth it. If you haven't purchased this yet, you'll see buy here instead of import. But since I've already bought it, I'm gonna go ahead and click import. So what this is gonna do, it's going to download the files even though it says import, I'm not actually importing it. I'm just downloading the files from the asset store. And this will take just a minute. And there we go. Now we have a window that's popped up that says Playmaker. Welcome to Playmaker. Uh, you've got four options here. Install Playmaker, Upgrade Guide, Getting Started, which is a good place that you can go find tutorials and samples, etc. There's also an add-ons uh, item here, which allows you to download predefined scripts that other users have created. So there's a lot of great tools there for you to use. For us, we need to go ahead and just install Playmaker. So we're gonna go ahead and hit install. We don't necessarily need to do a pre-update check just because we just downloaded it. So we don't need to worry about that. And we need to go ahead and install Playmaker. So I'm gonna click install. I don't need to worry about making a backup because again, this is just a project we just started. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay and I need to save, and then it's going to prepare the package, and here are all the files that it's going to unpack from the files that we downloaded. So these are all the, the scripts that are already predefined in Playmaker that you can utilize, just drag and drop. And there's quite a few of those, and we'll get into a lot of these as we move along. So I'm gonna go ahead and click import. This might just take a couple minutes. Boom, and there we go. All right. so. We need to go ahead and set up our workspace so that we can utilize Playmaker. So now if you look across the top bar, you can see that there's now a Playmaker uh, tab at the top. So we have some I items here, which we'll need. So Playmaker Editor. So we're going to go ahead and click on that first. And if you guys remember, I told you I was going to utilize this space down here for something. Well, I'm going to utilize that for Playmaker and a couple other things later on. But for the moment, um, first I can get rid of this Playmaker window. We don't need that anymore. And then this Playmaker editor window, I'm gonna select that tab and drag that down into that bottom area. So now we've got a nice sized window that we can edit our Playmaker FSMs. That's a finite state machine. There's a couple other things that I like to have up as well. So I'm gonna go back into that Playmaker tab and under editor windows, first I'm gonna have an action browser. And what I like to do is I like to take this and I like to dock it right alongside the inspector. And the reason I like to do that, just because there's a lot of items in this and I like to have as much space as I can to see the items that are there. So these are actually predefined scripts that are already in Playmaker. So you can see there's items for input uh, items for GUI design, uh, script control, meshes, there's math items. There's all kinds of really cool things that are here. Uh, and we're gonna be utilizing a lot of these as we kind of go through uh, building out a game. 
The other thing we need to do is to go ahead and open up the editor global variables. Okay, variables are, are little packages that store information. And global means that it's going to be global to our game. Now we're not gonna store all of the information directly in the globals, but there's some key information that we're gonna to wanna to store in there. So if the user has coins, right? If they're collecting coins or collecting gems, whatever that might be, those are something that we might store in the global variables. So I'm gonna go ahead and have that window up as well. And I'm gonna dock that down here into my Playmaker window. So we're having just a little less space, but I'm gonna kind of compress that just a little bit so it doesn't take as much space. And I could probably compress this actions window just a little bit and the inspector too. And there we go. All right, so now we're kind of started and we are ready to move on to the next step. So what's the next step? I also want to install iTween. Okay, so again, we'll go back to the asset store and we're gonna install iTween. So we need to search for iTween. Now we did pay for Playmaker, but iTween is free. So we're gonna go ahead and download and install that. So here is iTween. Again, I've already uh, kind of purchased this, even though it's something that you don't purchase, it's free. Uh, I need to go ahead and just import that into my project. So I wanna go ahead and click import. Definitely wanna save. I'm gonna import iTween. And what we're gonna do is after this is done importing, we're actually going to install some actions that are predefined that Playmaker can use. So now that we've installed iTween, we can then go to our Playmaker window again. So we're gonna to go to the welcome screen, click on add-ons, and then if we scroll down, you can see there's a, an item for legacy items. So here you can see iTween support. So we're also going to import iTween actions. So here are the actions that are predefined. And once we import these, an iTween item will show up over in our list over here. And there we go. So now we have iTween as an option, okay? All right, so now that we've done that, we are ready to get started. If you're ready, let's go ahead and just start playing with Playmaker just a little bit so you can understand some of what's there. All right, so there's some key kind of things to think about in Playmaker. Playmaker is uh, a finite state machine, which means that there are states, they're like logic blocks. What's gonna be happening at a certain point of time? So there's a lot of different ways that we can use Playmaker and we'll attach different of these FSMs to different types of game objects, depending on what it is we wanna accomplish. So if you remember, I have a folder that I created for sprites. So what I'm gonna do is I have a sprite here and I'm gonna take that sprite, so it's a PNG file, and I'm gonna drag that right over into my sprites folder. So you can see my folder changes with a little arrow that it's dropping down, and you can see I now have that graphic. It's an icon that I used in my Trixel Rocket game, but we're gonna go ahead and just utilize this now. So I have this file, and I wanna check on in the inspector. Remember, the inspector is a contextual menu so that it changes based off of the item that we have selected. So if it's the main camera, you can see that it's information specific to the main camera. If it's an icon or a graphic, you can see that it has information specific to that graphic. So in this case, we want this to be a sprite, 2D and UI. So it means that it's a sprite that we can, a graphic that we can use in the UI, and we can also use it in the game. So anyway, just know that we can utilize this graphic. So I'm gonna take this graphic and I'm gonna drag it right into my scene. Boom, there we go. So now I have a little spaceship. So if I click on game, you can see that there's my spaceship. And by default, the camera has a background of blue. And I wanna change that because, you know, blue space, right? So I'm gonna go back to my scene, click on my main camera, and then in the camera settings, you can see here's an option for background. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. I get this little color wheel that comes up. I'm gonna just select and drag down into the one of the lower left or lower right corner. They're both black. 
And so now our background for our camera is black. So if we go back to our game, you can now see I have a black background instead of a blue. So I can now see my little blue icon or blue spaceship better. So now you have your first game object in the game. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and that little bell icon so you know when the next video is available. So what's up next? We're going to put Playmaker to work. We're actually going to use Playmaker to make an FSM to then move the game object on the screen for us. All right? If you guys are ready, keep on creating.